Hello and welcome back to the Sovereign FX YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over how to trade GJ, how to execute, how to set up your market structure, roadmap and perspective. So we'll quickly go over the higher time frame analysis before you dive right into the intraday. Okay, so what is GJ? GJ is the currency um, British pound against the Japanese yen. So depending on the strength of either this will influence the move of GJ. So in the event the Japanese yen gets stronger, GJ goes lower. Okay, in the event the British pound goes stronger and the Japanese yen gets weaker, GJ goes higher. And how are you able to come about this as in each pair? You can look at the indexes such as the Japanese yen currency index. As you can see, I've outlined my levels. So the Japanese yen is a safe haven currency. And when there's fear, uncertainty and doubt in the market, you'll realize that the Japanese yen gains strength as investors pull their money from risky assets right into um, the Japanese yen, which is a safe haven currency alongside gold and the US dollar. These are the safe havens. So we can look at... As you can see, 2023, uh, January, it was at the height, at the peak of, I mean, not January. I wanted to show you during the pandemic times. It was at an all-time high as investors were pulling the money out of the equities market and other risky assets right into the Japanese yen. And as that happened, you can look at gold, I mean, GJ, during the uh, pandemic which is the 22 times right before we got this bullish leg and the pandemic was no longer an issue. We had the drops all the way down to the lows at 123 before going back up towards the um, GJ higher time frame bullish market trend. Okay, so that's basically it. You can look at the Japanese yen index and the British pound index. So this basically tells you which one is stronger than the other. So you can use it as a part of the confluence as you're trading GJ. But the main thing I want you to look at is on GJ. On the higher time frames, GJ has always been bullish. And this is for a fundamental reason, not just... Um, price action as technical traders would term it but this is based on the fundamentals that back up gj so the british pound is the currency for the for england and the bank of england is increasing the interest rates and by increasing the interest rates they increase the strength of the currency so the reason they are increasing the interest rates is to curb inflation and bring it towards two percent and by keeping the interest rates high, they're increasing the strength of the currency. On the other side, the Japanese are decreasing and keeping the interest rates at lows and in the negatives. This is because they have the loose money policy. They're trying to push for inflation. As you've known, the Japanese economy is built upon import and export business and having devaluing the currency is good for the import and export business so that's basically the fundamentals behind it so unless we find new fear uncertainty and doubt in the market gj is bound to make higher highs pullbacks high highs pullbacks high highs and by this time i know you're wondering what are these red lines that i've marked up on the chart let us dive down to the lower time frames don't mind this this is the trade we took during the live stream today for 30 pips so what are these lines these are the price psychological levels on gj as i have back tested them and realized that this is where the institutions and big investors exchange um their orders as you know the market is built up of buyers and sellers and it's all order flow and the price action tells us where order flow is heading and where buyers are liquidating the positions and sellers are providing the liquidity for them to um, get out of the market. That's basically what price action and order flow is. 
So at these price ecological levels is where the investors exchange um, the prices because these are contracts between banks and huge hedge funds. They can't just exchange prices at uh, an arbitrary level. They use the flat levels, which is the 0.200, the 00 flat, 500, and the 0.800. These are the PPLs on GJ. Where can you find this? You can find this on the PPL solid indicator on TradingView, or you can just plot them out um, sequentially as price goes by. So that is that 500, 800, 200, and 00. zero. This is how I plan my trades. When price comes towards uh, PPL, which is the price ecological level, you just watch the price action and understand what it gives you. So you have flat candles, pullback. You have this is this could easily pass for a triple bottom. Understand this is the lower time frame. It gives us the most information. And for you to apply this, you have to understand when price comes to a PPL, you have to watch the price action and lower time frames and understand what it's telling you. Because when price comes below and you see there's not enough sellers pressure, this means the sellers are liquidating the positions and the buyers are providing the liquidity and jumping back into the market as this was simply just a pullback. Okay. If you didn't understand that, you could just rewind it and watch it at the pace in which you'd understand. Also, something else. With GJ, if you realize that GJ isn't breaking above the our creating new highs, this is because it doesn't have enough buyer strength to break above this PPL. Therefore, what GJ does is give you a deeper pullback to collect more buy orders for it to be able to actually come and break above the previous highs and create new highs. So if you're watching this during July, you'll realize if we don't have any new fear, I'm seeing GJ going all the way to 188 and you can plan your trades based on that analysis. So I think I've covered the majority of how you actually trade GJ. Just do your higher time frame analysis. Okay, so this let's go step by step. Your intraday time frames, which is the four hour. Remember, this is for intraday traders. If you're a scalper, you have your higher time frame as the hourly 30 minutes 15 minutes then execute on the one minute okay so this is the for intraday traders you'll realize price they didn't fail to break the previous high therefore you'd be expecting pullbacks to around this area if price hold this area you can execute your buys for 80 pips Okay, so you just watch what price does at these levels. If price also breaks below this, you can target the next area. Here, then here. So these are where the pullbacks are bound to come to. So you can just roadmap, have your perspective and market structure in place and pre-planned trade analysis so that you, just, you don't just enter um, any trade anyhow. Eh? simply because you see an entry so once price comes towards your areas of interest you can now dive down to the hourly watch what happened during the previous session as you can see during the london session price didn't have enough volume to break above on h3 so during the new york session you can count on gj to do a pullback towards 183 200 so this is what it, it did. Drop down to the one minute. This is where you get your sniper entries. And I wasn't on the charts during that time. So it did the double bottom. And here's how you'd execute. Once price pulls back up, then you realize it's failing to break below and still holding above on H3200. So how you can manage the trade is another topic on its own. And we're going to cover it after this video. Let's not stretch this video out long. Have your stop loss just below there for around six pips and have your take profit one and the next ppl for 30 pips take profit two 60 pips and take profit three 80 pips so for each leg you can close a position of your trade and you can write the trend out and milk the last dollar okay so i think i've covered everything if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section i'll be delighted to answer also leave a like subscribe join the free telegram group where i send out analysis and 
fundamental breakdowns. See you next time, Sovereign FX.